And then I was like, and that's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> well, that, was... that was really insightful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty much solved the universe. Forced laughter. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up on the recording. <laughs> Let's not blame Adam for ruining the podcast and quite possibly the whole weekend. <laughs> Yeah, it's not too far. It's not too far. <laughs> but we're we're back. We're back. We just broke the fourth wall. Yes. Well, you know, that was just a commercial break for like whoever you have oh, like oh, sponsors sponsor today. Yeah, just, oh, that's a good uh, question. Still doing that. Um, um, I have to make up. Some, <laughs> I have to plan. Yeah, Mike, come on. Who's our sponsor? Um, who paid for us to get here? Oh, right. On right. this retreat, it's probably the Mister T Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For God so pitied the fool. <laughs> the MTV? Yes, the MTV. Wow, that's... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Look. Uh, so, so many questions. Yes. <laughs> Can Mr. T write? Yes. Is, oh. is the Bible plated in gold? Can you wear it as a necklace? Yeah, he can wear it as a Oh, yeah, no, it, it's like a pocket Bible, so you can hang it up, oh, actually on call. your neck. Good call. Yeah. Because a full sized gold Bible would probably be really heavy. Right, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Although, judging it on his neck, he could probably handle yes. it. He's, he's, he's very jacked. He's an outdoor person, mm-hmm. not an indoor person. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's talk about board games. Board games. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Because I was like uh, thinking, what are some board games you've always wanted to make? Like invent your own board game? Invent your own board game mm. idea. Mm. Um, I wanted to have <clears throat> the spinoff of D&D called Hipsters and Hallways. <laughs> <laughs> and what would happen? Oh, well, you see, the, the, the object of the game is to make sure your band doesn't go on the radio. Okay. <laughs> you want to keep it away from the mainstream. Vinyls only. Yes. <laughs> and so you have to go around the coffee house dungeon, <laughs> defeating casual people, <laughs> casual goths, jocks, sellouts, <laughs> radio Sour DJs, Starbucks drinkers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Tom. <laughs> Oh, and, I would love that spinoff. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What would some character names be? Well, you know, you'd have different classes. Okay, like... like... Uh, coffee hipster. Mm-hmm. Deep thinking hipster. <laughs> fashion hipster. <laughs> music hipster. Music hipster. What about campfire sing-along hipster? Oh. Caleb? Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, the no. deep thinking hipster. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're one and the same. Yeah, yeah that's true. He's the same guy. Like, this is just too much. Ukulele, anyone? <laughs> So this this might be a little too soon, uh, so I may have to wait a little bit before I come out with this, but my video game would be uh, a version of Mousetrap, where instead of the cage coming down on the mouse, uh, it's very topical, we have Glenn underneath and there's a baseball oh, no. up ahead, and the goal is to, you know, plot his demise. I don't know if it'll be popular, I, I'm, I'm looking at market demographics right now, but... <laughs> Absolutely not! <laughs> He was the st- <laughs> Glenn was you, the st- you, I bet I you know the 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 market developers are telling me that I might have more luck if I put Carl under there. <laughs> Carl, yes, Glenn, Glenn. Glenn. He's only got one eye. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> He's already gone. <laughs> Does that show just get more depressing? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's kind of the point, I think. It is. Yeah. It is. I'm just, that in Game of Thrones yeah. for sure. I'm just really sad that they killed off one of the only really strong Asian characters on TV. <laughs> Well, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking there was too many of them, so I was, I was thinking the opposite. What? Well, this is Get Hollywood. I'm, survi- I'm surprised he survived that long. Right? right? <laughs> and how come he didn't have the katana? Right. <laughs> Let's stick with stereotypes here. I don't know what's going on here. Yes. I'm out of my element. Yes. Oh, man. That's, that's a good one. Nice trap over there. Yeah. Negan that. I, I gotta tell you guys the truth. Uh, growing up, um, being a being the baby of my family, being the youngest, and by a significant amount of years, I made my own board games all the time. Yes. And yes. none of my older siblings ever wanted to play with me for no reason. But luckily, I had a grandmother who would entertain <laughs> me and play the most ridiculous board games I would I that I could think of. 
I did like a Marvel comic board game. She doesn't know the character. She doesn't right. know who Spider Man is. Right, right. She's just she humor killed only. with Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I I was such a she cool was really kid good back in the day. She was always the blue guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her getting into it, being like, "No, Peter, I have initiative, and I rolled a four. <laughs> but that was the thing too. I made the board game, and she would always kill me. <laughs> she would always win. Like, oh, El- I'm telling you, Elsa. She was a she was a shark. <laughs> It's a g- game shark. Yes. <laughs> she ran around to the saloon. Yes. <laughs> beating the gamblers at their own game. It's like, who wants to play triominoes? I'm, I'm all set. <laughs> Cracking her knuckles, ready to go. Always one big at the bingo hall. <laughs> yeah. Which makes you think, if the nerd world took over culture, would there be betting on D&D games? Instead of uh, the poker tournaments, there'd mm. be a Dungeons and Dragon tournament. I, mean, well, well, I, I can't. I have to imagine that it's not too far away from the from reality. Mm. Honestly, we already have. I mean, esports are becoming yeah. so popular. Yeah. There's got to be gambling on that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Would, would people bet on WWE matches? Um, you know that those are scripted, right? <laughs> right? But we don't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. <laughs> we think they're real. Like, <laughs> athletically, they are doing real moves, <laughs> but the outcome is predetermined. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't gamble. You're telling me if he leg dropped me, I wouldn't be on the ground for three seconds. <laughs> yeah. You would, if he leg dropped you for real, you would probably be dead. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Mike, we're sensitive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagining a wrestling like group of just a bunch of guys who look like us who are like who are just ready to cry at a moment. Like, push me in the nose. <laughs> oh great, another DQ. <laughs> Does anyone see my glasses? <laughs> oh, I'm me if I lose another. I have player. to adjust my bow tie. Give me a second. Give me a second. His finisher, the Indian rug burn. <laughs> Guys, my mom says I can't go home with another ruined shirt. <laughs> yeah, All right. it works. And that's why the Beatles should have broken up. Very insightful. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> well, I just explained for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> We're definitely gonna get fired. Yes. This this podcast is special because we have two sponsors. Yes. Yeah. What's the second sponsor? Oh, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Stop setting me up. It's uh, brought to you by the Mr. T Bible. No, no. Yes. Well, this one is uh, brought to you by a company that makes uh, biblical cosplay costumes. Oh. Church with robes. Church with robes. <laughs> right. Church. One lady in the face of the church. <laughs> Church with robes.com. Small business, but it's growing. And those two, it's very lucrative. She she took took one costume design class at the local community college. (laughs) She did a bathroom together. We appropriate its bathrooms. That's great. 100% recycled. Have you ever been in a church play? Oh, yeah. 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 I've only been in one church play, and I was. A fake saxophonist, even though I could actually play the saxophone. <laughs> but no, you were a real saxophonist. No, but they wouldn't let me play. The hardest part what? is pretending to be a saxophonist when you know you are. I mean, if you think it's easy to be like a gangster in real life, it's hard to play a gangster. Same same principle with the saxophone. Mm-hmm. That's fair, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't have experience for either. I went I went to school and we did like all these like human videos and dramas all the time. We'd go across the country and, and like do them at like school assemblies and oh, and cool. churches and whatnot. But you definitely get typecast. And what did you get typecast? Oh my gosh, I was always the either hip cool guy. No, I was never the guy at the party. I wasn't the party dude. I was never allowed, and I wasn't the boyfriend. I was never the boyfriend. <laughs> never the boyfriend. <laughs> like they knew. Yeah, they just knew. I was either always the the geek, of loner number three. <laughs> <laughs> there was only one loner part. <laughs> Back up to the loner. The understudy. 
Or I was I was either also I was all it was either a nerd or a demon. Oh, oh whoa! That is <laughs> real quickly. Abusive dad. Oh, oh! You were yeah. typecast as the abusive dad in your school plays. <laughs> or is it a homeless we're... guy. <laughs> Did, you just, did, did you those have... roles ever combine at all? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I was, I was on a missions trip in Africa, oh. and we had to do a school assembly, and we went with like 13 of these plays, these dramas, and we're like, and then our leader went, we're doing this one, this one, this one, and this one, and at the very end, we're all going to have like an altar call prayer time with you guys in the front, and people can come to you. I'm like, you know, all the video, all the um, dramas that you picked... I'm either the abusive dad, the demon, or the abusive boyfriend. Right. No what? one's going to come and pray with me. They're going to hate me. <laughs> That's a demon. <laughs> and she was like, no, that's not going to happen. No, it happened. Right. I was up there by myself going, no one wants to pray with you. <laughs> dad. Someone walks up to you and their friend just grabs it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Friends don't let friends sure? with demons. Are you sure? He unblesses you. <laughs> Maybe you should pray for abusive dad. <laughs> the kid comes up to me and lays hands on him. Forgive him, Lord, for he knows not what he does. He, he just seemed so sad up there. He just needed a lot of hope, support, prayer. He needed Jesus, you know? The entire village just comes around to <laughs> Peter. <laughs> You came to serve us, but we will serve you. <laughs> Bring out abusive dad. <laughs> or demon number three. <laughs> okay, so I was in a, a Christmas play one time <clears throat> where I played a, a senior citizen who rapped. Oh, <laughs> nailed it. Why? Wow. What I'm, hipster church are you going I'm to? I'm not kidding. No, this was, uh, so, okay. Uh, confession, I was homeschooled. Mm-hmm. This this was not a play that I put on with my siblings. This was a, a play that we did in our church with uh, some other homeschoolers in our church. And and um, co op. Yeah, I don't know who chose the play. Uh, I think it was actually the person who directed it who chose it. But I was I was moms. I was cast in the role of Mr. Nolan, uh, who was a, a senior citizen who was at a, a nursing home that kids would visit to learn the true meaning of Christmas. Uh, and I threw down on the little town of Bethlehem and I rapped verses. Wow. Play. I wow. I didn't know they let you listen to rap in wow. school. Yeah, it was it was it was groundbreaking at the time. <laughs> <It was laughs> just, I just love, also love the idea of an old person listening to rap music. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. The kids walk in, he's just rest, li- listening to like <laughs> run so, DMC. So, so Oh oh kids, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, children. <laughs> So I, I between grandpa and straight out of Compton. I took. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I, yeah, I would accidentally blend it with like lyrics from Drake. So we had to, we had to talk wait, to me about... wait. How long ago was this? I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Drake wasn't a thing. It was probably Eminem or something like that. But I was homeschooled. So I didn't know that. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. We're Nolan. You're. you're... Ending line is, and one day I'm going to make a Batman movie that's gritty. That's, that's gritty. <laughs> Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> is that a Christopher Nolan? Yes. Reference? I had to throw in a Christopher Nolan. <laughs> Not even like a movie, but actual Christopher Nolan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I Confession, I don't know what Christopher Nolan looks like. You could you could tell me. <laughs> you could sh- point at Zach and he'd be like, that's Christopher Nolan. I'd be like, you're right. I would, I would take that role and run with it. Okay. He's actually pretty sharp looking. Like he, yeah, really, yeah. he goes, he works like when he's directing, like in a full suit, almost with like a tie and yep. a jacket. He's just like he's like the the sharpest looking director out there. He's like the opposite of like Peter Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shows up. Peter Jackson jammed. always looks like he came out of a subway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the restaurant or the transportation? <laughs> the restaurant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he gets extra pickles. <laughs> Provolone in his beard. <laughs> He's actually saving it. He just reeks of sweet onion. <laughs> He's the guy who gets both the chips and the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Would you like a chip or a cookie today, sir? Yeah, yes. <laughs> you know, I, I imagine Zack Snyder yeah. with like an evil laugh. <laughs> just, just yelling, more fire! More fire! <laughs> <laughs> Kill 
kill, kill. <laughs> you know, there is a script. No! Yes. <laughs> kill! <laughs> How can we work an explosion in this scene? Hey. <laughs> this is the touching scene of a mother reuniting with her son. <laughs> Have a car blow up in the back of the street. <laughs> We need a slow mo shot here. You guys just made it very depressing talking about Batman v Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman hit Superman with a sink. Yes! <laughs> and didn't make a pun. <laughs> so let's go around the room and think of a pun. He could have yelled with the sink. Mm. Sinks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> You're all washed out. <laughs> I think he should just say something like, you know, well, I've hit you with everything else, so this is the logical conclusion. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Batman has to logically explain the joke. Yes, <laughs> that is when well, he, has, he does. Batman doesn't get humor. He's just like, <laughs> if I explain it to you, you will understand why this is funny. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He would, he would, no, he would. I think he should break the fourth wall and explain it to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what I just did is <laughs> I hit him with everything. But the and kitchen sink. the kitchen sink. Yes. <laughs> Alfred, guess what I did? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't kill him. His <laughs> mom's name is also Martha. <laughs> Small world, right? <laughs> yeah, made this weird contract where if we have the same mother's name, I kill you. <laughs> How weird was that movie? Yeah. Oh, well, that's what happens when you rush something. Yeah. <laughs> and try to get it out. Well, it was too ambitious, too. It's just trying yeah. to do way too much, you know? Like, yeah. let's do a sequel to Man of Steel and The Dark Knight Returns and a Justice League movie. It was just like, no, we'll just take one thank you, you know? <laughs> I, I, I came into that movie with very low expectations, mm. so I, I wasn't, that, I wasn't like, crestfallen because I, I, I already thought it would be horrible, and it turned out to be less horrible than I thought. But my main uh, gripe with that is the title. Like, first of all, it's lame. Like, get, get something Dollar catchy. Justice. Like, secondly, uh, people were pointing out, like, V is, like, a legal term. Like, if you're, su- yeah, if, right. if you're <laughs> suing someone, you'll, it'll be, like, if, if Batman, like, litigated Superman, it'd be Batman v Superman. Yeah. Like, Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Batman would win because he has way more money. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So it's a Daredevil movie. That's right, yes. yeah. Except, except uh, without everything that makes Daredevil good. Yes. <laughs> well, you know... Uh, DC works with Warner Brothers, which publishes Mad, so they had to have something that Mad Magazine could satire easily. Because in the Mad Magazine, it's like, you know, Buttman and Duperman, Yawn of Justice. Mike, I think we've stumbled upon a conspiracy. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure that they made their movie terrible just so they could boost Mad Magazine. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we need to make this relevant again. Yes. <laughs> Mad Someone mag- got money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've seen a Mad Magazine. <laughs> remember the last time I saw a magazine. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a hard copy. Yeah. Digital paper. <laughs> <laughs> Ratings for chumps. <laughs> Audiobooks. The website without links. <laughs> Let's talk about the um, um, Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> Like we can't talk about Batman v Superman without Justin uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Seriously. Yes. Well, I think he is the rated R Michael Sarah. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's yes. true. It's like old grandma's tea though, like peach tea scene. Yes. That was like, well, isn't that the logical conclusion when you think of Lex Luthor, the evil maniacal genius villain? You're like, he, he's gonna pee in a cup and give it to someone. <laughs> you just know he's gonna do that. <laughs> Imagine like ten minutes before this scene, he's like, the payout of this setup is gonna be so great, but he can't tell it like right. afterwards. He can't tell anyone about it because he blew everybody up. Right. right. He's, he's like, like <laughs> you, oh, he's oh. Like, well, exaggerated, exaggerated right. for it. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a millennial version of Lex Luthor, <laughs> yeah. which is it's pretty sad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the you... rated uh, Michael Sarah. That's good. Yes, <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> yeah. Have you um, you there's this website called uh, Scripts on the Editing Room Floor, and they the satire of scripts for the so they just they just went into the Batman v Superman like they crushed it, 
then uh, Batman's like, you know, uh, we're really just trying to compete with the Avengers. And then Wonder Woman says, we should grab flashlights and compete with the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wonder Woman, the voice of reason. Yes. <laughs> That looks actually pretty good. The new Wonder the, Woman. The new yeah. trailer that just came out. Oh, that's yeah. great. Very well yeah. done. We haven't seen a superhero back in an old war. Right. Since Ever. Captain America. Since Ever. at least 2008. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I hope Man. one of the Matrix agents plays the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Yes. <laughs> Hugo Weaving was great. Yes. I did see Doctor Strange. Um, did you? Before. I haven't seen oh, it yet. Is it good? Spoilers. Is it good? It was, it was good. Spoilers. Good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I didn't know the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title they chose? I thought it was just a new oh, Sherlock oh, episode. Still yes. better than Batman, you know, Superman v. Batman. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, I just oh. thought it was the new Sherlock episode. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> With beanbag cucumber pack. Cucumber <laughs> pack? <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. It's the most British name. It really yes. is. <laughs> Absolutely. You could not Benedict call it more Cumberbatch. British Cumberbatch. <laughs> Second to Niles from Frasier. Oh, <laughs> don't even say it started with Frasier. I, yes. okay, so that is my life. Peter, was it weird to hear him in an, have, have an American accent? You know what? Honestly, in the um, when I saw the trailer and he's just like, I don't believe in chakras. You know, like, <laughs> he's like in the trailer. But actually, after the movie, after I got out of it, I was like, it didn't take me out. It wasn't distracting. Like, it was very obvious that he was trying to do an American accent, but it didn't take me out of the movie at all. Mm, so That's good. What if he had a Napoleon Dynamite accent? <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the Napoleon Dynamite as a hero. I don't Gosh. believe in chakras. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and Kip is in it as well. Yes, <laughs> Kip. Still just on the computer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> You're just jealous because I found a portal to uh, other dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, chip, good old chip. Man, that, that was an MTV production, right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it was. I think it was one of their first, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that movie made like six times what it cost. I thought you were gonna be like made six dollars, and I was six like, I'll buy that. <laughs> well, you know, back when it was made, I think it was like two thousand and. <coughs> It was 2004. 2004. What? Yeah, because I was just, that was the year that I went off to college. Yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. I was in middle school. <laughs> I was doing a, a youth group tour around different camps for a ministry. Was I the only one that didn't do a youth group tour? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a rite of passage. Well, was, he just went to the home schools. Right, right. Right. Yeah, I, I just uh, toured. Uh, From house other... to house. <laughs> <laughs> This we is would take, cookies today. We would take turns tending each other's gardens. Oh, and... <laughs> does not surprise me. Yeah. Well, basically everyone in that, um, all the youth were just quoting that movie. Like, that was the thing. All the youth? All the youth. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're like, oh, say something funny. Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was funny because it was right around the time that I was out in school as well. And we did a big... Um, football tournament between like all the different youth groups and stuff and we need to we need to have um a mascot so they asked me not to play football and they asked me to be the mascot and to be dressed up as a liger oh so shoot. there's pictures of me on the internet somewhere of me dressed up <laughs> as a liger that definitely breaks the typecast of, <clears throat> of demons and abuse yes that's, yeah, that's true <laughs> i was breaking out that was my breakout role <laughs> technically he was abusive liger <laughs> Technicalities. Yeah. I was really hoping that you were going to be Tina. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. The llama. That's great. I was waiting for it. Yeah. That'd be a great mascot. And that's when movies always turned into video games. Because there's a Napoleon Dynamite no, video no, game. No, there is no Stop way. It. It's like WarioWare. What? <laughs> you get these little things where you have to bring a cake. What? <laughs> to a house. You have to feed Tina. Mike, Mike, you're making this up. Would IGN lie? <laughs> Are you on IGN right now? <laughs> right. I've been on it. <laughs> Taking the Donald Trump approach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video game like you wouldn't believe. It's the best video game ever. Everybody says it. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
you're wrong at your own point. <laughs> <laughs> Had to come out some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Donald. Speaking of movies that like were low budget but did amazing, what other movies? Oh, I thought you had like I an example. An example. <laughs> well, I only have one more example, so I'm hoping you guys fill in. <laughs> well, oh I'm, man, like I Blair don't Witch, know. like Blair yeah, Witchcraft, like yeah. definitely, they, definitely Blair Witch, which was great. They, I mean, yeah, they literally, they literally returned the camera, or they bought the camera at like a CVS, not a CVS, but it was a Circuit City. Yeah, and then then they <clears> the, <throat> that's the video equipment they and, used, and the amount of work that went almost in the post production of that movie as well, because for years they had the people in that town still continue to lie to people, saying that this is a true story. Oh yeah, and it was it's <laughs> crazy the amount of work that went into the movie even afterwards. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That was good. Only dwarfed by the sequel, Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows. Oh what? That was <laughs> is that real? It came out like two years later. Oh, it was no. so and Project bad. 86 was on the the soundtrack. What? No yes. way! No, there was just a remake. Of yeah, there was. Well, the new yeah. one. Yeah. Well, yeah. What was crazy about that is um, no one knew what it was. Right. Yeah. Um, they were like they were advertising the movie as The Woods. I work at um, I work at a movie theater and we have posters of that says the woods. They sent us posters. That's awesome. And um, they did not announce that this movie called The Woods was actually Blair Witch, whatever. It was just the Blair Witch mm. until Comic Con in San Diego. That's super cool. That's, cool. That's so cool. It's just like I like the fact that they're doing all these kind of surprise movies that are coming out of nowhere. Like um, another one. That are like, oh yeah, guess what? We're gonna drop this movie in two months. It was Ten Cloverfield Lane. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the trailer didn't come out until like last December, <clears throat> and the movie premiered in February. Yeah. That's crazy. It was pretty good too. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Like Human Centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. That threw everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> was that your one example? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say Human Centipede. Okay. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Check. For the record, I have not seen that movie. I've only seen the Netflix cover. I'm too afraid to hit X. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but that movie, Don't Breathe, which mm. came oh, yeah. out by Bloomhouse. Yeah, they're doing some really good stuff. It's about a, a blind guy who lives in this house, and mm. these people try to rob him him, and then he goes all psycho and kills them one by one yeah but with like the powers of being blind so he's daredevil (laughs) yes Yes. evil daredevil Mm -hmm. but that same um that same company did something about hush which it has a lady who's deaf i saw that movie yes that was really good yeah (laughs) what's next mute mute that's we're waiting yeah Yeah. we're waiting on mute to complete the trilogy Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> Buy a combo pack. And then, at a guy that's <laughs> Fifteen bucks. Then a guy that's overly sensitive to allergies. Yeah. <laughs> Where's will my the, flown A's? Will the collection be called Deaf, Dumb, and Blind? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Only if they want to get sued. <laughs> yeah. Deaf, Dumb, and Blind. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> movies only a mother could love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and mom is at the store. She's like, "This sounds really nice." And she takes it off the shelf. <laughs> no, she mom. <laughs> yes. What have I told you? No buying movies without me. There's a meme of a child holding a Chucky or a Child's Play <laughs> DVD and then being hysterical because mommy won't let her have the Dolly movie. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Like, here's Annabelle. That looks a lot better. Right, yes. right. Exactly. <laughs> Annabelle. What was your What was your other movie? Oh, it was Don't Breathe. Oh, okay, Don't yeah, Breathe. Yeah, that okay. movie made that movie made bank. Made in bank. Did it really? Yeah, it only cost like what, a couple thousand. Couple thousand. <laughs> couple thousand. Um, <laughs> a little more than a couple thousand. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think like if we were to pool a couple thousand dollars together yeah. between the four of us, we yeah. couldn't make a movie back then. No. Right? no. Well, yeah, I mean, they had to pay a caterer. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why. No, that's why. Like, I always have my relatives cook whenever mm-hmm. we shoot something because it's free. Mm. Yeah, you don't have to. Actually, no. yeah, that's that's actually probably where the biggest amount of budget for a movie comes is just feeding everybody. Uh, yeah. Wow. So uh, you just brought up that you make movies. 
Tell us more. <laughs> Movies that my mom caters. I mean, yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. No, I do shoot movies sometimes. It, it's it's considered no budget. So anything from zero to a thousand dollar budget is considered no budget. A thousand dollars into a certain amount is called low budget. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I've seen some stuff on Instagram. You posted a couple a couple yeah, months yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. You guys have finished shooting. Yeah. So you're like That's extreme cool. indie. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We're too uh, indie is too mainstream for me. So I uh, <laughs> left behind X. <laughs> we're that. resurrecting the, the series yes. okay <laughs> what do you mean the one with um nicholas cage and do that well <laughs> we no, have to redeem okay, so, it. no we're, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do better we're gonna have nicholas cage uh pair up with kirk cameron and we're just gonna oh, do it a right buddy film. we're just gonna do it right <laughs> a buddy film the cops the buddy cop films <laughs> yes. and it's the end of the world yes <laughs> why I, I would not watch that <laughs> Actually, I would. I would, <laughs> Actually, I would. only watch that. Oh, <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> exclusively. That sounds horrible. Yes. Why, Mike? Why not? <laughs> Man. So, any other uh, low-budget movies that are amazing? Um, actually, this has been a really good year for some indies. Like, as this summer has been really disappointed, disappointing as far as um, a lot of the big blockbusters, like... Ghostbusters and X Men Apocalypse Ugh. and there's been it's it's been a bad summer. Um, the indies are the ones that have I think done better. Like mm. Sing Street was really good. I don't know if you guys mm. saw that. No, that was awesome. Everybody wants some. Was really good. Nobody gets some. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> the sequel. Uh, I actually else? take everything away from you as you go into the theater. Yes. <laughs> It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. It's 4D. That's where they take it's all their money back. It's 4D. <laughs> yes. Interactive features. Yes. Well, there's, oh, um, Don't Think Twice. It was really good. You guys, mm -hmm. man, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. No. Well, <laughs> these are just phrases. Right. <laughs> I can play that game, too. You see, bookcase. <laughs> bookcase. Mama never told me. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Queen Latifah. Was Bookcase yeah. the sequel to uh, Interstellar? Yes. <laughs> That's the one with Matt Damon, right? <laughs> <laughs> we oh, touch, speaking he touches of, the b black monolith. Speaking of Matt Damon movies that everyone's going to hate, uh, did you see the one about the Great Wall? Of yeah. oh, oh, I actually... Oh. Yeah. Dude, okay, so I was at New York City Comic Con... And I went to that panel and I saw Matt Damon and they were talking about the movie and they were showing clips and stuff. Okay, so there's this like Asian Justin Bieber within the movie who's like this 12, 13 year old boy. Uh -huh. um, he's, and he's, he's like a pop star? He's like a pop, not, I don't know if he's a pop star, but there were like a ton of like 20 or some odd um, Asian girls from the age of like 11 to 15 with glowing signs and once he came up on stage they just lost their stuff like I've never seen it before they were losing their minds crying like bombing crying. holding up their signs and I was like I, what is going on and then they found out it wasn't Justin Bieber <laughs> he's like a big deal I don't I had no idea who he was was he cute though <laughs> yes but I, I, I need to know how sorry. offended to be that Matt Damon is the lead white guy in an all Asian film. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes. Oh man. See, yeah, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's the same director who did Hero mm -hmm. and um, House of Flying Daggers, right? Right. Is it the same director. Really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Jet is that the Jet Li in both or just the one? I know he's in Hero. He's in Hero. Yeah. I'm not sure about House of Flying Daggers. I'm so my favorite Asian actors are Tom Cruise, <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> Mike, why are you looking right at me? <laughs> you're holding the speaker. <laughs> yeah, but you're maintaining eye contact. Like, I dare you to laugh. D dare you? Glad to know. Yeah, absolutely. That's Steven Yen. <laughs> oh, is that his real name? Rick, Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes. <laughs> Well, it was because the same thing happened with um, that uh, the Egyptian gods. Yes. You know, oh my gosh, that was I think the worst movie of the year, honestly. Yeah. 
Oh, is it, is it gods it. and is it gods and kings? No, oh, there, that no, was no, no, the no, Exodus no, no. one. Yeah, oh, that was Exodus. yeah. People, um, people complain about it being yeah. whitewashed, but oh. the one where it's like Gerald Butler yeah. and um, Jamie Lannister from Game Jamie Thrones. Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> that one was really bad. Mm. That was um, Gods of Egypt. Gods of Egypt. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Rush is Jeffrey Rush. He's in it. I don't know. It's so. It's bad. It sucks. I, I love it. And then it has um. Chadwick Boseman and then he's like the only black person in the movie and it takes place in Africa right right <laughs> the only one kind of right yeah. <laughs> no we gotta be we gotta have a diverse cast let's get a black guy and, and okay and also the gods um characters when they bled they bled gold ooh yeah they're like it was weird that is no that's weird. racist <laughs> We're all red on the inside. White people don't bleed gold. I keep telling you. <laughs> they bleed frappuccino. Yes. We bleed privilege. <laughs> it's the same as frappuccino. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, it's so bad. It feels like Hollywood hasn't really progressed from like... Right. Um, what was the... Um, was the one 80s movie with um, Long Duck Don... You know what I'm talking about? No, I haven't. No. Oh shoot! It's, it's not. Oh, um, you're thinking? Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, not pretty in pink, but sixteen candles. Sixteen candles. Yeah, Every yeah. time he like he shows up on camera, someone hits a gong. Yeah. yeah. He's like an Asian character, and then, yes. well, there's is is it sixteen candles? But they have there's a white actor that plays an Asian character. Wow. And he's got like this really racist accent, and like oh. it's just it's just really. Well, it, I feel really like it good. really started. I don't. I'm sure there's oh yeah better examples, but I I think what comes to mind is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah. When it was um. Who that was might it? be what I'm thinking of. Ricky, actually. Ricky, uh, not Ricky. Um, God, she was. Got his name. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. totally blanking on his name right now. Mickey Rooney. Yeah, Mickey Rooney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like you couldn't, you couldn't hire someone actually Asian to play that role. Like, Wait. and he won the Oscar. He won the Oscar that year for best supporting actor. That's crazy for being a white guy playing an Asian guy. Really racist. It's really like Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah, even though that was like comedic and was like intentionally supposed yeah. to be bad, like they still got flack. And he got, yeah. and he got, um, <laughs> he was making fun of it. And Robert Downey Jr. Got um, nominated for it. Right. He's like, guys, this is a joke. Like, we're making fun of people that do this. Like, this is real. Can you imagine if he would have won? Right. Oh, man. He would have played it off. He's that cool. And when did, when did Tropic Thunder come, first come out? That was like. Ooh, was that 08? I think it came out in 08. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. about like. Yeah. But you could, like, that's what, almost 10 years ago, not even. Yeah. You couldn't do that movie nowadays. You couldn't do that role. No. Definitely not. Until now. Until now. All right. (laughs) Campus Ambassadors presents. (laughs) You're abusive Asian. (laughs) Why am I always the abusive one? (laughs) Just a remake. Can I at least be the liar? (laughs) Just a remake of Karate Kid. (laughs) Try to tell me that Jaden Smith is Chinese. That goes too far. I don't... (laughs) They didn't say that he was Chinese in the movie. (laughs) Why is Jesus in that movie? I read between be, the lines. I think he was supposed to be like he was American. originally American. He moved to, to China. To China. Mm-hmm. He was, they weren't trying to push him off as Chinese. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, <laughs> I feel like legitimately won the role, and they thought he was, oh, they was the best direction oh, to go. <laughs> I'm sure that there's that kid needs to stop. He's mm. the worst. <laughs> He's the worst. What was the last thing he did? Um, it was, I think, After, after Earth. Earth. Oh, was, golly. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. <laughs> the guy who played his dad? I'm glad we don't see him anymore. <laughs> you can't make fun of Will Smith like that, yes. man. <laughs> did you guys see Suicide Squad? Oh, yes. yes. Yes, we did. So what was worse, Suicide Squad or Batman v Superman? I Batman. hated Batman v Superman. Yeah. You know, I liked Suicide Squad. And they had 21 pilots and it has to be cool. I know. It has know. to be cool. They had... The, the three S's. Shooting. <laughs> yes. Gone. Scares. <laughs> Scares. What was scary about that? There was uh, mushroom-headed people. Or... What? <laughs> Did we watch the same movie? <laughs> you know, they have the fungus made out of ashes. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Were you watching The Happening? The, yes. <laughs> the Happening. Yes, with Will Smith. <laughs> and what's the third S? Uh, suicide. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's all we yeah. need. Great right for children. It's yes. the recipe for success in, right. in any Hollywood film. Yeah, yeah. the three S's. The three S's. What were they again? Uh, shooting, <laughs> scares, and suicide. Or squads. Or squads. <laughs> yes. Rod, did you guys, do, I'm assuming you saw it. Yeah. Did you see it? I still haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Shoot, you should, it's you should still, see it. I don't know. I don't know which one's worse. Honestly, I think they're both yeah. really bad. You can at least have a little fun with that movie. I felt like it was yeah. at least fun. I had fun. You know, I <laughs> the, the most fun part was watching the Enchantress just like moving around. <laughs> like... Do you, you know what I'm talking about? She's like, yes. I have to go. <laughs> this is like, kept like, dancing around I everywhere. I wish we video that. That was yes. wonderful. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. so, I don't know. It was, it was bad. Everything, I think the best part was definitely, um, Harley Quinn and Will Smith. Oh, for the sure. Oh, yeah. The whole movie. Yeah, Will Smith was good. Um. When he shoots the guy off the roof. Yes. That was cool. Joker, though. Jared Leto. I need more. I need more. I, I feel like the sample size is too small. I mean, they keep saying that they cut a lot of this stuff out. Yeah, so what my understanding is that he thought he was going into this high artistic role of the century, kind of like Heath Ledger's Joker, and then they cut most of his roles, and all the time he spent preparing for the role, he felt cheated. Yeah. But he's going to appear again. Yeah. 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 I mean, With more cut scenes. I don't know. I don't know if anyone wants to coast be like in the same movie as him anymore. He was like sending people packages. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was he really was, in the role. That's how into it he got. He was method acting, and then they yeah. cut oh, like gosh. everything but fifteen minutes of him. <laughs> His punishment. <laughs> right. Well, when you send the director a used condom, <laughs> you're gonna get cut. <laughs> right. <laughs> It wasn't an artistic choice. It was revenge. <laughs> it was revenge. Yes. Who was the director? Oh. Um, it was... Steve? <laughs> yeah, Steve, you know. Steve. Good guy. Steve. Yes. Oh, gosh. It was the same guy who did... Um, <clears throat> that movie that was with Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael... Um, Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm looking this up. Oh, it wasn't... Was um, it, it wasn't like Nightcrawler or anything, was it? No, it wasn't that color. Uh, that guy's... I like that. A director. Yeah, I was going to say, like, he I think he would do something like that. Are we Prisoners. allowed to forget stuff on a podcast? Yes. 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 David it's probably The Dark Knight. David Ayer. David yes, Ayer. Oh, that's right. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Is he going to do other movies or just that one? Uh, I can't see them bringing it's, it's back. So, it's so, what I hate is the fact we're like, okay, DC, you have one more chance yeah. at, at really coming through. And it's just like... You, you, if you screw up Wonder Woman, <coughs> right, that's but when you're done. I the, think. Yeah, it looks promising. It does. It does. It's it does. got world and wars. Yeah, right. And a horse. And, and a horse. <laughs> I see. The, the three. The three W's. <coughs> yes. World yes. wars and wonder. <laughs> wars. World, 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 world <laughs> wars. And horses. The three yes. W's. Three W's. <laughs> <laughs> horses. Yes. Yeah, that's a very tricky <laughs> where you gotta be careful. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. A slip of the tongue, Junior. Yes. It's a totally different movie. <laughs> Man, I feel yes. dirty. <laughs> Real dirty. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Maybe we should give up on DC. Maybe DC should just go back to comic books and we should pick up another comic book company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who would that be? You think IDW would be up for that? Mm-hmm. You know, using well, one of theirs like Ghostbusters. Yeah, I was gonna say all they Godzilla. do. All they do is like X Files <laughs> and yes. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Right. <laughs> yes, those are already mm-hmm. those are already made. Like oh, um, Dark Horse, Star Dark Wars. Horse. <laughs> 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 we need a Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. Why Guys, don't we have any guys, of those? This could be a big break for us, and we can pitch this to someone. <laughs> yes. I know this guy, George Lucas. <laughs> yes. Do you know what's great is that um, when Disney bought Lucas Films, they, they also bought the story ideas from George Lucas that oh. he wanted it, he wanted to use. Mm. And they're like, yeah, we'll buy those from you, and we'll scrap them and never use them. So you don't have the rights to them. No one else. We're does. gonna save. We're gonna save the world. <laughs> Three Disney. strikes, you're out. Yeah. Yeah. Disney is just a <laughs> oh. I want that to be real. Yeah.
It's the yeah. only way they can redeem those movies. How are you guys feeling about the any of the rest of the movies coming out this year? Ooh, like, I'm because we got Rogue One. Rogue One, I'm excited. I I'm Dark really Dark really interested in seeing Hacksaw Ridge. Yes. That looks cool too. With yeah. Mel Gibson and Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield yeah. has turned himself like he went from portraying you know Peter Parker mm-hmm. to <laughs> the worst portrayal of Peter Parker right, ever. So look, career low. <laughs> he <right>? was sassy. <laughs> <laughs> he was the hipster cool. You, you, oh, you guys want to talk about a bad American accent? Like, that's true. But, like, he's in Hacksaw Ridge, which is already getting, like, best picture buzz. He's in another movie with Martin, directed by Martin Sorcius. Yeah. He, he's, like, pulling some good roles here. And Liam Neeson's in that one, too. Yeah. And they're playing missionaries. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. Liam Neeson. Is that the mission? It's basically, it looks like the mission all over oh. again, but. This is pretty great. They're, it's, I don't know. What is it called? It's End of Spear 2. <laughs> yeah. Something with silence in it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it is silence. That's all it is. Silence. I think it's, I think it's silence. Or, Shh. Oh, sorry. Oh. There's a Korean horror film called The Silenced. Is it based on that? Yes. I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> is it a bunch of schoolgirls that get mutant powers? Mike, why did you see this movie? I think that's, yeah. It's, what it's is Halloween. It was a dare. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mom know you did this? <laughs> yeah, it's just called Silence. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. Um, we got the new Harry Potter kind of oh, uh, fantastic yeah. piece. Oh, yeah. Where to find them, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll watch it, maybe. I don't know. I keep, whenever I see any of the advertisements for that, I want to call it Fantastic Beats. Yeah, <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> One more time, Mike. I think that was my three. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Give me a record deal. <laughs> I'm ready. Dr. Dre, where are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for Star Wars. They signed um, it, uh, 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 what's his name to play uh, Lando Calrissian. Oh, Dan, uh, Donald Glover. Donald Not Danny Glover. Glover. Danny Glover. <laughs> yes. Danny Glover. So I'm weird. getting too old. <laughs> I'm getting too old for the space travel. <laughs> <laughs> to imagine that'd be great. But you know, I think I think that's a I think that's a a bold casting choice, but a good one. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I I like the guy that they have playing Han as well for the next Star Wars movie. Who is it? Um. He's, he's fairly unknown. He was he that YouTube star. He, he got founded on YouTube. He was doing these impressions. I don't, what? Founded? I know there was one of the guys. Really? Yeah. His, yeah. his name is like Edric or it's something. He was in he was in the latest Coen Brothers movie, um, Hail Caesar. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a cowboy star who was kind of a John Wayne type, yeah. you know. Interesting. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I think they're doing good stuff. I, I mean, I like the last Star Wars. I, think, I thought it was pretty good. I have trouble getting into Star Wars. I'm just going to put that out there. What? Why is that? I just, you know, I want to get into, like, laser swords and moving things with your hand and the whole... Well, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get into it. <laughs> Something about a federation. <laughs> and if your your sword is blue, you win. <laughs> I have trouble, you know. I, I and that's not my thing. Oh, you don't like Star Wars? I, I am. I want to. Is it because it's too mainstream, Mike? It's. I know. It's not. It's not serenity. <laughs> it's not serenity. <laughs> like that can be said in the same statement. Yes. It's not so, like this. Uh, this indie show, Star Trek. Been watching indie show. <laughs> you guys probably don't know anything yeah. about Star Trek. Yeah, it's, it's pretty low key. <laughs> you don't watch the shows I watch. Yeah, it's yeah. very obscure. It's like Babylon Five. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> I think that's the first time anyone has mentioned Babylon Five in the past five years. Yes. You're yes. welcome, internet. <laughs> Babylon Five. No. <clears throat> Do you Did remember you... the one with Kevin Sorbo and Dramada? No. No. <laughs> It played on Saturday evenings at 4 p.m. Yeah, that really jogged I'm, my memory. I, I still have never seen it. Kevin Sorbo? Who is that? That's not he a really plays Hercules. Hercules, and you might know him from God's Not Dead. He was the professor. Oh, <laughs> better known from God's Not Dead. God's hey, not if the Hercules reference didn't do anything, I God's Not Dead. I, yeah. <laughs> I love that they're pulling in the most relevant actors for God's Not Dead. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> He is our number one actor in the Christian pool. He's like, our leader. Not HBK? Yeah. If he was a card in the deck. He, 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 listen, listen guys. Kurt Cameron's getting hard. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. So someone needs to carry the torch. Yeah. He's the ace of kings. What? <laughs> Mike. 
Do you live in reality? I make up my own rules. <laughs> You're a real maverick. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Did they make a second God Is Not Dead? Yeah. Yes. What is that about? It's about it's... Kevin Sorbo's ghost who comes back to the page. It's like God's Not Dead to even less dead. Even less dead. <laughs> Have you, have you, God's still not dead. God is, just a heads up, guys. Spoilers. If you, if you friendly, not, friendly reminder, God's not dead. Oh, man. But have you guys had a conversation with people um, that have been like, yeah, college ministry, is it like that movie, God oh, is not dead? Gosh. Have you had conversations like that? No yeah. one's ever seen it. <laughs> so it's, hard, it's hard to mention. Man, yeah, no, I would, I would not show that movie on campus. No, agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from what I've heard, if you're an atheist professor, you're probably going to get brain cancer. <laughs> you're also, also going to get hit by a car. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But don't worry, yeah. because you even then, you'll, you'll have, be okay. You will have yeah. a deathbed conversion and yep. be okay. Exactly. <laughs> that was definitely a big problem. Well, there was a lot of problems I had with the movie. Well, yeah, so... <laughs> so Every single <laughs> was it the newest boys coming from <laughs> yes, yes. with Michael Tate. Oh man. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I met Michael Tate. I had lunch with him. Cool guy. Yeah, he was a really cool guy. It was, uh, it was funny. My my buddy um, Morgan. He was um, he, he was like going. He was just riffing at the table. He was sitting around, and Michael Tate just looks at him dead serious. He goes, "You need help." <laughs> And Morgan just continue continuing to rip. He just goes, "I am the help," and there's nowhere to go from there. Michael Tate was just like, "What?" what is this just guy? gave up on him. He was like, "I'm done with these people. I'm done with these Christians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining the news boys. I'm gonna make a movie." I remember when he was more humbly just Tate. <laughs> after after a DC talk, DC. and he did a whole concert, and then he's like, "There's some rumors out there." That says that the black guy's on drugs. Obviously, that's not true. <laughs> and DC Talk is coming back. <laughs> that was in 2005. He was, he, was, he was prophetic, though, because guess what happened uh, last year, or it might have even been earlier this year, the uh, Newsboys, no, the Newsboys, not Newsboys, the DC Talk cruise. What happened? They did a cruise and they, they toured and they 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 did songs and they played for the cruise members. How is that and, local? Yeah, it was like also like I think they have a stage show in Vegas as well too. You catch them, you catch them in between Britney Spears and Celine Dion. Celine Dion. <laughs> yeah, so that was because the, they had the big announcement like they, like they they updated their Facebook page and everyone was like. Like a reunion tour, and then Finally. They, they did a cruise. What what no one was asking for, we came through. That's right. That's right. Nobody. You're welcome. Nobody excited. <laughs> Go to your local payphone and sign up for DC Talk tickets. Call collect. <laughs> yes. What were they hoping? Like, if you just happen to be in the Mediterranean, right? We'll and, be there. And you like '90s <laughs> yeah. pop rap? I have to. I have to imagine to be a very specific demographic that would buy tickets for that. <laughs> the only person who's watching this is Carmen. He's like waving a lighter <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> My shout out to Bleach. <laughs> it's a really niche already audience. Yeah. <laughs> Pod. VOD. Yes. <laughs> Rebecca St. James. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Let's see how many 90s Christians references yes. I can make this week. I think we exhausted yes. them all, actually. Uh, there was only like five bands. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> Card? Yellow <laughs> Card. What? They were never a Christian band. I thought you were giving me the Yellow Card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hawk Nelson. Hawk Nelson. Early 2000s. Early 2000s. My bad. <clears throat> yeah. Am I the only one who has like a real serious problem with most Christian music? Yeah. Okay. I, no, 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 no. I mean, like, okay. I meant like I agree. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah. Yes, go away. You're out of the podcast. Yeah, you're done. Oh. Like, we could spend another podcast talking about that. First like, of all, Gunger. Oh my gosh. Brit Nicole, amazing, revolutionized music. Not sure what she's saying, but. <laughs> So good. You know what? And that, She's and still that, making music. That's got to mean something. Woo! I still can order the CD through that one little magazine I would get every, yes. every month. Like, you buy 13 CDs, you yeah. get the 14th one for free. Okay, so, so Adam, what's your opinion on Gungor? 
But they have theological things that I just can't, I can't, I just can't get her over. It's one of those things where I want to like you so bad. But you're so it's, theologically unsound. Yeah, it's I'm, so weird when a band does that, like especially a Christian band. They're like, yeah, we're Gonger, believe Jesus is Lord, the church is important, and the aliens are coming back. Right. <laughs> no! <laughs> we're so close. So, so close. close. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we actually we actually have a ban on their songs at Rockport. We don't we don't play any of their songs. Mm. And you yeah. probably don't yeah. uh, preach from Rob Bell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, do not. Here's Rob Bell doing a cover of a Gunger song. <laughs> <laughs> Tom has a hissy fit. Yes. <laughs> and then Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen comes <laughs> and shakes his hand. <laughs> That's so rough. Yeah. So rough. But yeah. No, poor Gunger. They're good musicians, though. Yeah. I hope they find Jesus. It's tough. Like all the bands that I used to listen to, mm-hmm. like I'm, my I'm thinking specifically another one that kind of has gone on the wayside is Me Without You. Mm-hmm. They were one of my favorite bands. You understood them? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I had a fifty-fifty chance at knowing what they were singing about. <laughs> Mike was a very poor listener. <laughs> oh man, it's so that's so good. Speaking of bands that uh, went south, you know, um, Newsboys had another singer, a co-creator, back in the early '90s. Well, he's totally a, like an atheist now, walked away from the church. Oh really? Yes. Oh no. That's what it is with uh, me without you right now as well. Did they? That's yeah. awful. Or at least Aaron, the main singer. Oh. He's, yeah. yeah. That's so really? sad. I don't, yeah, that's so sad. A lot of people walked <clears throat> away from Jars of Clay because he questioned the church's decision on homosexuality. That's right, yeah, that's, right. Mm. That's, yeah. That was, those, that was, those, hit the news recently, in yeah, the last year. Yeah, that was like a year or two ago. Yeah. What did he say? Well, he, it was almost like a rhetorical question, or like, a, like I, I don't understand how the church came to this verdict on this topic. And, and then, just, people just got mad. And then there's like this, guess I'm not a Jars of Clay fan anymore. Yeah, how, how Jared Guy questioned. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You know who kind of like, I know you listen mm. to their newest album, so I, I haven't yet, but Reliant mm. K. Yeah. So, yeah. so Collapsible Lung was kind of really a departure from mm-hmm. everything they were doing before. You mean really, it's good? <laughs> Get out! The oh, Lion is amazing. Oh, you know, okay. I to <laughs> so we got so Mike doesn't like Star Wars. Peter doesn't like Reliant. I mean, I liked the Lion K back when I was in junior high. I mean, I <laughs> he I, was Lion O. He was Lion O. <laughs> um, but no, in their new CD, they are. Um, it's very. It's it's front and center, like they sing about God and stuff. So like, yeah. mm-hmm. it's, that's it's what I loved about their concert is like you could understand their lyrics and you mm. could clearly tell they're singing about Jesus. Yeah, and there had to be people in there that didn't know the faith and they were singing along too. Right, like, exactly. Saying all these positive things about Jesus. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, I think that's kind of the problem with a lot of Christian music today is we genreify Christianity. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have our own section on iTunes, you right. know, and, and that's not the way it was designed. Right. I mean, uh, you know, it's cliche to say, but people should be musicians who are Christians, not Christian right. musicians. Right. I, you know, like, I understand, like, there, there are bands like Casting Crowns. Their, their stated goal is to uh, help the church with music, mm-hmm. and, like, mm-hmm. that's fine. But if you are trying to get popular by rehashing all of these tropes in music, yeah. Yeah. you know... I don't know. I and mean, that, that's what I hate about like bands like Hawk Nelson. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they're the Christian Blink-182. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's yeah. And I can definitely. tell you were a Last Tuesday fan. <laughs> <laughs> last Tuesday. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> no one's going to know that reference. Nobody. I don't even know. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's wonderful. What does it mean, Adam? You're like, I don't know. That's Ten wonderful. years ago, they toured with Super Chick. Super, Super chick. chick! There we are. Wow. Yes. <laughs> the reference to end all references. Yes. Man. That, that's great. Well, but because John Foreman said in an interview something similar to along what you were saying. Just like, I'm not a, I don't make Christian music. I'm just a Christian that happens to make music. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> rem- oh my gosh, that reminded me of the Babylon Bee article that I saw a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that was like, man. pastor says... <laughs> 
<laughs> that he's um, not a Christian pastor. He's just a pastor who happens to be a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you should get to sponsor the podcast. Yeah, yeah. That, one one on the... that one would take you know, it seriously. Yeah. I've, I've written them some satire articles, which never got approved. <laughs> now, I'm wondering, wondering if I was too sassy. <laughs> Probably. Too hurtful. Too, <laughs> too honest. <laughs> yes. That's a little too dark. <coughs> True that. So we have to go take a, a picture in three minutes. Otherwise, we get scolded by it. our overlords. We get all fired. We could get fired. Yes. There's not a snack in this episode. Yeah. Unless you count one of us eating a phone. <laughs> no. It's no. Not <laughs> well, it's sponsored by Apple. I mean, it's just... yeah. why don't you just describe a food? Yeah, me? Yes. <laughs> Well, let's see. What did we have for lunch today? We had pizza. 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 Yeah. It's pretty good. They have good food here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is actually the best retreat center as far as food that I've had in, mm-hmm. in all the years of of ministry. Of ministry. Tori with you. Yeah, <laughs> Tori with you. <laughs> what, they did, they did Guys, I actually do have to go. I have to be abusive dad number three <laughs> in about five minutes. They didn't have gourmet food in Africa. <laughs> No kids coming forward to pray with me. <laughs> no one will feed me. <laughs> Until I repent of my abusiveness. That's horrible. <laughs> what, did, what did we learn today? Um, that Peter plays a mean, abusive dad. Yes. Makes Literally. Sense. Literally? <laughs> In the best way possible. Right. <laughs> you, you hear me, Hollywood? If you need me, you know where to, where to find me. I don't think they do. No, that's just for you guys. <laughs> we learned that Kevin Sorbo is the future of Christian cinema. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> He's going to be playing Jesus in about three years. <laughs> He's he in the, hasn't yet. He's, no, he's, in, he's in the new Mel Gibson, you know, the, the sequel to The Passion. Ooh. He actually, incidentally, you'll be interested in this, Peter. He plays a demon. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you got competition, Peter. Oh, great. Just <laughs> One shot I had. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you know, being typecast, I mean, or being a character actor is rough when there's so mm-hmm. many people like Kevin Sorbo out there. Like, <laughs> every take it all like, out from under me. I want to see a movie where Kevin Sorbo sneaks in and takes a role <laughs> just so people get it. What would the movie be, Mike? Well, you know, like, someone's about to become Nelson Mandela in a movie, and Kevin Sorbo <laughs> sneaks in and takes it. Sorry, Morgan Freeman. I'm, I'm Nelson what, Mandela. What can, what can I say? <laughs> I'm the Kev. The Kev. <laughs> White watching has really gotten bad at this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we're definitely going to get fired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what we learned today. <laughs> That's what we learned today. You should end in apologies. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> we're, so, we're so sorry. Don't fire us. The tongue is like a fire. Who can control it? <laughs> Not us. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, Internet World. Oh, was I supposed to stop it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I should stop it now. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's go take a picture. <laughs> <laughs>